But Dhruvil, uh, you know, let's talk about what's happening on, on the supply chain side as well. And through the course of the pandemic, we saw many changes, uh, many innovations being driven as well uh, to ensure that uh, supply chains were not disrupted. Uh, more or less across sectors, we seem to be back to pre-COVID levels. What's your own assessment about where things currently stand? And more importantly, what have been the changes that you're seeing businesses adopt in light of the lessons learned from the pandemic? I, I think you are 100% right there. Uh, uh, first of all, the country responded to this uh, pandemic from a supply chain perspective really well. Uh, we were we were expecting back in you know April and May we were expecting uh, the situation to be really really bad. But I think few months down the line when we did the assessment uh, with our customers as well, which are across multiple uh, categories, including uh, retail, manufacturing, could be steel, chemicals, uh, groceries, food, uh, and whatnot. I think across the categories, uh, the recovery of supply chain happened very fast, and the biggest biggest contributor to that was. Uh, the companies reacted, all the organizations have reacted to adopting technology really well uh, because the only option to run the supply chain and run the show on the ground was to do it remotely. And all the workforce, uh, which was not as tech savvy, uh, and even the enterprises which did not really have enough infrastructure or tools available, they adopted to these tools really, really fast. Uh, so that was very helpful. That was one big trend that we saw. And there was one uh, big lesson learned about the state of the ecosystem that uh, companies are doing much beyond what uh, what we perceive them to do. And number two is, uh, I think now even foreign investors are coming up you know, very strongly on India growth story because uh, there's only upside to be seen from now. Uh, looking at especially the how recovery was done, uh, India has emerged as a market which will, which is you know still uh, very resilient to uh, you know resilient to change, uh, which is a great sign for for global uh, investors to get attracted towards this large, obviously large market which everybody has been talking about always. And the third one is uh, is is more about uh, you know this whole uh, consumer driven economy, right? So supply chain was only ending at retail uh, mm. so far. I mm. think post COVID, the whole e-commerce uh, you know attraction, home deliveries. Everything being delivered to home at a very fast and, and you know speedy manner is another big pleasant change to adopt. So you know as we are seeing that all customers again across all categories of goods are trying to go to the end customer, to their home, to their businesses in last mile as aggressively and as quickly as possible with the use of technology and innovation.